Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take a normal image like this, break it down, and create a logo animation like a pro designer. I'm DJ from Eternal Visuals. Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. Our first step is to bring our image into Adobe Illustrator by going to File Place to create a vector version of our image. We need vectors because they're not based off of pixels, they're based off of a mathematical position. So no matter how large you make an object, it won't get blurry or pixelated. Pretty cool. We have no more than three colors in this image, so I chose the option three colors. Once it's converted, click expand and ungroup. Then use the pen tool to create shapes around your objects and select divide object below to act as a cookie cutter to separate our objects. From watching the commercial, I know we need the spikes flame, head, arm, circle, and main text as separate objects. If it moves, we need a layer. Once all of our objects are grouped and put into separate layers and titled accordingly, we can save our file and open up After Effects. If you want to follow along and don't want to go through the slicing process, the Illustrator file is linked in the description. Create a new project. Title it Liberty Mutual Tutorial. Click File, Import Files, and select your Illustrator file. Make sure you're under Composition to select Retain Layer Sizes. Drag your composition onto your timeline and then double click your comp to see all of your layers. Select all of your layers and check off the star icon. This tells After Effects these layers are vectors so they won't pixelate when we change the scale. First thing we want to do is move our object's anchor points to the direction in which they'll be moving and parent any objects together that need to move together. To start, we move all of our spikes anchors to their bases and then parent all of the spikes to the head. We also want to move the anchor of the flame to the bottom and parent it to the arm, as well as parent the copyright logo to the Liberty Text. Select them both, right click and pre-comp. Title it Liberty Text. Let's start with our background circle. Click and hold the shape tool and select the circle tool. Hold shift and drag a perfect circle the width of your background circle. Center your circle inside your background circle. Right click your background circle, select create shape from vector layers. This will make a new version of your background circle with an adjustable path. Hit the down arrow on your new outline and select contents group path and create a keyframe at seven frames. Go back to two frames on your timeline and begin adjusting the curves to fit the outline of the perfect circle. You should now have the perfect circle transforming into our liberty circle. Let's move to the arm and head movement. Go to 11 frames on your timeline and select your head. Move the position keyframe by hitting P on your keyboard. Move your playhead back to three frames and move the head to the bottom right far enough so that the head leaves the circle. Ease in and out. Go to 13 frames on your timeline and select your arm. Create a position keyframe, then go back to three frames and move the arm down to the bottom right to the point where the top of the torch lines up with the eye line of the statue. Ease in and out. Go to 11 frames on your timeline and select all the spikes and create a position keyframe for all of them. Move back to six frames and using the select tool, move each of the positions inside the head. Ease in and out. In order from left to right, drag each spike ahead of the other by two frames a piece. They should now pop up one by one. Now for our flame. Move to 18 frames and create a position keyframe. Move back five frames and move it down about halfway. Open up your scale settings by hitting S and drag your scale down until you can't see the flame anymore. Head back to 18 frames and bring the scale back to 100. Ease in and out. To get our flame to wave, go to your effects tab and search for wave warp. Drag it onto your flame layer and adjust these settings. Wave height to three, wave width to 64, direction to 60, and speed to two. Now select your head, spikes, arm, and flame. Right click and pre-comp. Title it Statue. To make the statue pop out of our circle, head to 20 frames on your timeline and select your pen tool to draw a mask around your statue with the bottom aligning with our bottom curve of your circle. Hit M on your keyboard and open up the mask settings and create a keyframe. Copy the keyframe and paste it at 10 frames. Then jump to five frames and adjust the bottom part of the mask to match the circle movement. Go in between five to 10 frames to make any additional keyframes to make sure they stay aligned. Now for our circle slice. Drag the start of the slice circle to begin at 18 frames. Then select your main circle and create an opacity keyframe by hitting T on your keyboard. Head to one second, six frames and bring the opacity to zero. Ease in and out. Now that our statue animation is done, select your statue comp and circle layers, right click and pre-comp. Title it Liberty Logo. Move the composition anchor to the middle of your logo. Head to one second, 12 frames and create a position and scale keyframe. Head back to 18 frames and change your scale to 196 and move your position to the center. 
create a shape that stretches across the logo path and the Y in Liberty. Lower the position of the logo to the point where the bottom right corner aligns with the bottom right of the Y. Delete the block. Ease in and out your position and scale keyframes. Then go into the speed graph for each and change the ramp speed to create an even smoother move than the default ease and out speeds. Now let's create our text animation. Select your Liberty Text Comp and jump to 1 second 17 frames. Create a position keyframe. Then go back to 18 frames and move your position so the last letter falls behind the logo. Ease in and out. Go back into your speed graph and create a smoother ramp. To reveal our text, move your playhead to 1 second 17 frames on your timeline. Grab your shape tool and create a mask around your text. Bring the top and bottom as close as possible without cutting them off. Create a mask keyframe by hitting M on your keyboard. Move back on your timeline to right when the letters go past the logo and move the left side of the mask to the middle of the logo. Move back a few more frames and keep adjusting the mask back to the center of the circle. Then move the mask to be completely flat to hide any leftover letters. And we have our final look. When working with a client that already has brand identity assets, I always use this Illustrator to After Effects workflow. I hope you learned something today and I can't wait to see you in the next one.